Express starts now with Chief Meteorologist Eric Finkenbinder. All right, so at least we were dry for most of today. Let's go out to Mechanicsburg, and it is mild. The average high now 62. Now, we were in the upper 60s, even lower 70s, but now we're starting to getting some rain cool there. Uh, road's still dry in Mechanicsburg, but some of those showers just now beginning to really approach. And I would say for a lot of us, especially in New York, Adams, Perry, Mifflin, Juniata, Franklin County, Cumberland County, yeah, we're starting to see some of those showers moving through. It's, it's going to be sort of off and on. Matter of fact, you can see a little bit of a break now in parts of southern Franklin County. So no steady rain, and I'm not really anticipating a steady, you know, several hours worth of rain. And as I mentioned, too, looks like we're getting this one wave to live through. Then we get a little bit of a break for perhaps a few hours. It's this line itself that is eventually going to be arriving, and that will be later on tonight. And I would say around midnight, perhaps 1, 2 a.m., is when we're going to be seeing this front. Now, yes, it is producing severe weather. We've got a tornado watch area across portions of West Virginia, extending into the southwestern tip of uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, unlikely to be dealing with severe. However, there will be storms. There will be downpours overnight and even some wind gusts, too, that will be uh, will be going with it, too. So we're looking at these scattered showers and storms. This entire area of low pressure is going to be lifting east and lifting north and east. And I would say bulk of the rain is going to be overnight for a lot of us. So again, showers, it is beginning to approach. Here's again 830. We see additional showers, but the line itself, we see that a lot uh, for a lot of us. 11 midnight, 1, 2 a.m. is when we're going to be seeing some of those heavier downpours of pushing through the mid-state. I'd say by the time we wake up, get an update from meteorologist Brett Thacker, we're still going to have some of those leftover showers before we slowly begin to see that rain coming to an end. A rain amounts, it is going to vary. You know, some of us might only see a third of an inch. Others, it might be a close to an inch. It all really all depends on where these downpours really move through the mid-state, but I would plan the potential for some of us getting an inch if we're underneath the downpour. And those winds, Overnight, they will be steady and same thing for tomorrow. Now, these are wind speeds, not gusts, but those gusts throughout the day tomorrow, they are going to be around 40 miles an hour, if not some of us a little bit greater, too. So it is going to be a windy Friday, uh, then even a blustery start to our Saturday before those winds start to uh, slowly decrease heading into the afternoon and evening on Saturday. A few evening showers to wrap up our Sunday and then moving into next week warm. As a matter of fact, we've got our first 80 degree forecast today there by next Thursday. So overall, it's not a bad weekend. Most of it's dry, but warmer next week. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back.